Okay, holes. Okay, so here, let me give you an example where we get a hole, okay? x squared minus one over x minus one. Now where is, what's the domain of this? Everything except one. Right, the domain is everything. It just cannot be one. Typically, when we're drawing rational functions, x equals one will be vertical asymptote, right? However, here, it actually, the numerator shares a factor with the bottom. Okay. Now, recall that for something like this, x minus 1, which was a vertical asymptote at 1, if I replaced x with 1 plus some small number, I got... 1 divided by really that small number, right? So this was approaching infinity. Really large number. That's how we know it was a vertical asymptote. Let's see what happens here. If you plug in, x is equal to 1 plus delta. Look. 1 plus delta minus 1. 1 plus delta plus 1. 1 plus delta minus 1. What happens here? Do we get infinity? Look at this. Same. Look, because they're the same. Even though they're really small number, they're the exact same small number. It's going to reduce. What is it going to approach as delta gets really small? It's actually going to approach 2. Right? Algebraically, algebraically, this is doing this, right? From here, we can we can get y equals x plus one. Okay, look. The only place where it's undefined is when x is equal to one. So here, let me plot one. Otherwise, it looks like this. Otherwise, it looks like this line. Okay. Except at one, it's not a vertical asymptote. It's approaching. Okay? If we make an x value really close to 1, we're still approaching 2. Except when we get there, it's undefined. That generates a missing, literally a missing value at 1. So we call that a hole. Okay, there's a hole, a gap. Maybe a gap is a better word for it, actually, but we call it a hole, okay? That, um, every time every time you see uh, a case where a common factor crosses out right you have to watch out for to see if it is a hole now just because it cancels out is it always going to be a hole hmm let me show you an example 